What is going on everybody? Welcome back MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So today I have right here the 2022 iPhone SE or the iPhone SE 3 if that's what you want to call it. And I have a couple cases that I want to showcase with the iPhone SE 3 and that is ESR and their metal kickstand cases. I have a clear one as well as a black case. And I wanna kind of show how it looks on the iPhone SE 3 and if you're interested in picking one up. Now ESR has sent a bunch of cases out to review. So thank you so much ESR for sending these out for the channel. And I definitely would recommend ESR right off the bat because I do use an ESR metal kickstand case for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and it's coming super clutch. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, so first things first, let's put the box aside. iPhone SE 3 right here. I really do like this white color, not going to lie. Um, but taking a look at this first glance, you can definitely... I'm used to 120 hertz displays, so I can definitely feel the 60 hertz. It is very fluid as a 60 hertz display, but nonetheless, uh, it's still... You can still see, see that it's not present. But anyway, let's open up these cases. So right here, I have the jelly case. And this is a metal kickstand case. All right, so there we go. And it kind of shows you right here how to use the kickstand. Now, this is compatible for the 2020 iPhone SE as well as things like the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7 as well. So let's pull this out right here. So taking a look at the case, it's like I said, it's a clear one. It's a jelly clear case. Um, and when you look at it from side view, the, the metal kickstand does kind of protrude a little bit, but it's a really sturdy metal kickstand too. So you'll have no issues when watching videos or when FaceTiming upright or other way around. Okay, and like I said before, this is compatible with iPhone 8, iPhone SE 2. So if you have those older phones, then you can still pick one of these up. And right now looking at it, it, it feels pretty good in the hand. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to slide out of the hand either. Um, but let's put it on the iPhone SE 3. So putting it on, the one thing I look at is clicky buttons. Does it have clicky buttons? Let's see. It does. Uh, what I like about cases is there are some oh, there are some cases that um, take away that clickiness from the phone and make it really hard to press on the button. Uh, but with this case, it has no issue. Uh, let's come around back. The camera cutout is big enough for the the camera as well as the uh, the flash right here as well as the mic. Um, but if you do imagine, you could technically have a second camera lens here. But oh well. Um, and then when you look at the case. This metal kickstand does take up the second bottom half and does protrude, like I said, uh, but that's because of this. That's literally because of the fact that I can FaceTime while the phone is upright. I can use it while watching videos on the side or uh, opposite way, and you can adjust it too. I actually do like it. Is it sturdy? Um, it's not, no. If you push or put too much weight on one side, then it will fall off, but flat, face down or case directly on the uh, table. It does rock just a little bit, but that's obviously because of this kickstand that does protrude. Uh, otherwise, if you wanna show off your phone's color, like this one right here, I think this is going to be a really nice one. And it gives you enough room. There's enough cutout right here to turn on the mute switch, which I really do appreciate. I hope more phones come out with these, especially with Android phones. I know OnePlus does. So, you know, congrats, props to OnePlus for doing that, but I hope more do follow suite. And the, the cutouts right here for the lightning connector as well as the speakers, uh, those are precise as well. Um, and it does have, it has enough lip to cover the camera. So if you drop it face down, it's not going to, yeah, it's not going to fall face down on the camera lens first. So that's a huge plus. But this is really how it looks, this clear case on iPhone SE 3 on white um, and I still have the black one right here so let's go ahead and quickly put this one on too um, and like I said this case doesn't feel it feels really the grip is really good and I think that's what a lot of people want when getting a case if it's if it has a good grip they don't want the phone to fall out of their hand let's take a look at this black one right here so this kind of has a dual uh, black color thing to it the top is a darker black than the entire body right here but it's also got a metal kickstand and this feels really premium. It is a little bit on the heavy side, but that's that's okay. 
Um, and if we put the iPhone SE 3 to the side for now, I like it. I, I like this metal kickstand. At first, I thought I wouldn't like it, but I've come to love it on my S22 Ultra, and I also do love it on this as well. Um, now, it doesn't it doesn't seem as if, or maybe it is, it doesn't seem that these are, this is just one entire big um, case. I don't think it's it divides into parts. I'd have, or maybe, wait, or let's take a look. Never mind, <laughs> let's not take a look. Let's, let's not take a look. So, Let's go ahead and put on iPhone SE 3 right here. Putting it on, it definitely clicks in. And it's a little bit more difficult to put in than the clear case. Um, but first thing I notice is pressing on the power button. It, it takes, it's a little bit more difficult. It definitely takes some more heft to it, um, as well as the power and volume buttons too. Um, other than that, it has a little bit of a raise. So if you do drop it, um, on the side, for example, on the corner, then it will take that damage and it won't hopefully affect the phone. Um, looking at the back, here it is. It definitely does have this camera or camera cutout right here that's precise and it's raised. So that if you do drop it on the back, it's definitely not going to fall down and break the camera. Uh, but does it rock on the table? A little bit, yeah, obviously that's because of the raise right here with the kickstand, that's okay, but otherwise, like if you're if you're using this with a kickstand, FaceTiming, watching videos, whatever it may be, you can use it just like that. And I like it. I like I said, I like the kickstand. It's definitely something that I really do appreciate and I've come to enjoy on my current smartphones. But the one thing I don't like is just how this case is not as clicky as the clear case. Um, looks wise, it looks good and it feels sturdy. It's not, it has a good grip to it as well, but it's just not a case that I definitely probably, I probably myself wouldn't be rocking. Um, but that's really it. These are the two uh, kickstand cases. These are both compatible with iPhone 8. Uh, they're both compatible even with like 2016 iPhones, like the iPhone 7 um, and also iPhone SE 2 as well as the current iPhone SE 3. But if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the YouTube channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. Anyway, that's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, Superman, that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.